Problem 8. Consider the following 100 sets of 10 elements each. How many of these sets contain exactly two multiples of 7? So, first of all, each of these series you should see that is you should see should contain a multiple of 7. For example, 7 times 1, 7 times 2, 7 times 3, and 7 times 4, 7 times 5, 7 times 6, 7 times 7, 7 times 8, and 7 times 9. I'm just doing this to give you an example. So 7, 14, 21, 28, and then 35, then it's 42, then it's 49, right? Then it's 56, then it's 63. Notice that there's one there's a 7 in the first set, there's a set there's a 7 in the second set, in the third set, in the third set, in the fourth set, in the fifth set, in the in the fifth set, in the sixth set, and in the seventh set. So every single set, just from these few multiples of seven, should give you an inductive reasoning that every single one of these sets contains at least one multiples of seven. Now, when you approach questions like this, think logically. And the way you think logically is you think about established conditions and you think about how additional conditions would apply given the establishments. We established, right, that every set must have at least so at least one multiple of seven so if every one must have at least multiple of seven then how many multiples of seven do we have from the range of one to a thousand well from one to a thousand we have one times one all the way to seven times n but the seven times n must be less than a thousand in other words n must be less than a thousand divided by seven where n is an integer so we must take the floor function of a thousand divided by seven which is uh, 1, 4 times 8, and then, two, and then 2. So 7 times 142 would give you uh, 994. And that's the largest multiple of 7 that it will go up to. But since every single set, remember, every single set ha has at least one multiple of 7, then 142 minus the 100 sets available would give you 42, meaning that after distributing 100 multiples of 7s to each of the 100 sets, we still have 42 left over. But notice here, which is that these 42 left over must be after must be redistributed back to the 100 sets. But each one of these sets already has one multiple of 7. So adding an additional multiple of 7 into the previously established 100 terms that have already a multiple of 7 would give it two multiples of 7s, which is exactly what we want. And since each of the 42 can be distributed to each of the 100 to each of the 100 series that already have one multiple of 7, that must mean 42 is your answer. Because 42 is the amount of multiple of 7s left over, and therefore the amount that's given to the 100 sets that still need them. Therefore, your answer would be answer choice B.